Hello everyone, welcome back to Car Fix. Say hello to my dog Rosie there. We're back with the DC50 Dyson, which I'm going to fully strip down and show you the main place where it gets blocked or loses suction. As my other video on the uh, this has gone uh, pretty well, and it just showing you where one blockage can happen. I thought I'd make another one, stripping it right down into all the component pieces, showing you the filters and everything and how to clean them. I've since upgraded this Dyson, which has lasted me six, seven probably years. It's been a decent Uber, but it is now on its last legs. So I've upgraded to a Shark NV801 UK. And I might do a review on that at some point because I am very impressed with that Hoover and how hard it sucks. And I know that sounds dirty, but it's the truth. Anyway, let's get into this video to start with we'll take off the main dust collecting area you can see straight away this is extremely old it comes open you're supposed to press the button for it to flick open but this falls open as the clip has now broken there so it loses suction through here so it's not performing optimally to fix that well, I could get an O-ring, probably a clip that goes into there. But like I say, I've upgraded. So if you take this, this just slips off, getting dust and crap everywhere. As you can see, there's all this fine filter in here and a nozzle there. The previous video, I was looking all over for where the suction was stopping and it was jammed big time in there. So that's a place to look if you've got major blockages. Also up the ends where the suction happens. To get the filter out, you click the handle, just there, flick it up, filter in there. You'll want to wash this, I don't know, however off, whatever the manufacturers say, but I don't much doubt anyone does it. Once every now and again, it seems to suffice. So that's them two parts. They just click back together easily enough. Thing is, a lot of people throw these hooves away for loss of suction or one pipe being broken or a simple blockage like that. But in fact, these type of hoovers are very modular, extremely easy to fix, and the parts are cheap enough to buy as well. So you've got that accessory there. So the next thing we'll take off is the tube. Just click it out. And you can see just one simple button there. We'll click out the main tube part. As you can see, mine's lost its will to want to stay out. So when you're trying to hoover on the floor, it'll push back in, which is highly annoying. Another reason why I bought a new hoover. I've also got the tube, this is actually a new tube. I didn't make a video on it, but it's extremely easy to fit. It, it's split around the top. So obviously you couldn't use a tube because there was no suction. I think it was about 10 pounds on Amazon to replace this tube. And all you have to do is, if I can remember, you, um, Oh, there's a little red tab in there, if you can see it. Um, it's pretty difficult to show you. Can you see that red tab? Just in there. A little red plastic tab, yeah. All you do is, you click that tab in, and it, you can just do it from the other side, and it comes out. See, a lot of people will probably spend another couple of hundred quid on a hoover because they've split the pipe. One tab, £10, brand new tube. I mean, that's literally been on there a couple of weeks. It's brand new, basically. <clears throat> so, then we'll spin it around again. Another cause of major blockages is the actual head. And to take this off, again, there's just a tab, click, it's off. 
as I put grit and garbage all over the place, this is a major place where it gets blocked up. Especially with me having a lot of pet, two dogs, kids everywhere, the hair you can see in the roller blocks and it stops the intake big time. I'm always unblocking that. Obviously, as you can see here, if I get something in there, let me get some tweezers. Look at this. Look at the state of it in there. And you wonder why your hoover doesn't suck. Big problem. If you want to replace the roller, it's extremely easy. You click the two tabs or deep clean the inside. There you go. You can take the roller out. Just pushes with a tab. Um, and just pulls out. Screw, screw there. Probably can. Screw there, screw there, just unscrew it, put your new roller in, off you go. Again, if your roller's, like mine's ripped off there, you can see, gone. New roller, what, probably less than a tenner for a new roller. Then you can undo the side. to get to the other intake of like the motor and whatever. And there, your next filter just clicks out. Click, you can fit. Clean that filter, easy as that. This is probably the worst thing to get back on, lining the screw hole up. I don't care about that minute. The next biggest thing I had with this Hoover was this seal here. I think I might have mentioned it in the previous video that the O-ring, as everything else falls out where it was blocked, that o, that rubber O-ring there was not making a seal against um, the pipe. So when it's out like that, as you can see, the seal goes into there, so it uses the suction to um, push it all into the main dust collector when you're on upright mode and want to use the tube it seals there so you can use the tube and it sends it into there the problem is is what i was having is when i was putting it into floor mode the seal as you can see i don't know if you see in there i'll try and show you that pipe was not moving well the pipe was moving but the rubber had come detached it was not making an airtight seal so obviously the hoover then didn't suck so that's another seal it's a bit of a finicky one to get to that one i ended up doing a little diy fix and just put some super glue around at the end of it and glued it back on because it wouldn't stay on the rubber had stretched but it worked fine I and mean, it must have been like that for a year or more no problems and really, that's all it is to these hoovers. If the motor goes, you're out of luck. Get a new one. But filters, easy. Big planes of blockage, rollers, easy fitment. The main body, make sure your seals are clean. Like once a year, something, give these a good clean so it's making a good seal, it'll help the suction. Clean your filters. And like I say, easy to fix the tubes. One click in. What you just put your put it all back together. Click. One click. Anyone can do it. Again on this bit, one click. It's extremely, extremely simple. Too many people, it's probably an excuse to buy a new Hoover just because they want one, but reality is 
times out of 10, they can be fixed if it's not a motor problem. Again, you can put the head back on. <coughs> you just push it in. Make sure it's lined up. Try not to get my head in the camera, which is causing the issue here. I can't see what I'm doing. Yeah, you just slide it, slide it up. You heard the click, it's in. And then you just line the screw all up with the screw hole. Fish fast cross, screw it in. That's the most difficult part, lining them up. And then put your uh, collection, dust collector back on. I'm not going to get into the shark versus Dyson debate today because this is not a comparable Dyson. It's six, seven, eight years old. So it'd be unfair to compare Vets brand new up-to-date shark with this. But on face value, what the shark versus this older Dyson model, there's no comparison. The shark beats it in every way. But this isn't about that. This is about how it is very easy to fix your Dyson DC40, 50, 30, pretty much any Dyson model are made modular like this, so they're easy to fix. You don't need a £30 a month warranty, a £100 two year warranty. All you've got to worry about with that is the motor, which is unlikely to go if you're using it properly. All these maintenance items are £10 at most and two minutes of your time to switch. Anyway, if you've enjoyed these uh, hoovering tips, hit the like, favourite and subscribe. And I'll be back in the next video with who knows what this time. Peace out, everybody.